Hi everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House. Take a look, we got some brand new Ragless Ladybug toys. Finally, oh my goodness, I am so excited about these. These are the newly redesigned action figures for Miraculous Ladybug. So today we have four. We have Ladybug, we have Cat Noir, we have Marinette, and we also have Rina Rouge. I actually don't know how many there are going to be in this series. Hopefully they're going to come out like Adrian, Chloe, and Aya. So our first one here is Ladybug and these are single packs. So we get one action figure and their weapons. So here we have her standard yo-yo and I see here she also comes with a pair of wings. And I'm thinking this might be for Cosmo Bug. If you saw the New York special or the Miraculous Ladybug in New York, in the beginning scenes we see her in space and she had on a pair of wings. So I'm kind of thinking this is what it is. It doesn't actually say. The back of the box is just an image of the superheroes. So it doesn't actually tell us what the wing is from. Let's go ahead and take her out. I'm gonna see if I can do this without destroying the box. Right now, these action figures are only being sold in Europe. So I had to get them shipped in. I'm not really sure when they're gonna come out in the States. I am thinking early 2021. So in just a few months, we should be able to get them in the States. And hopefully they are available everywhere because right now, even in Europe, they are sold out. And so it was really hard to even get this set. They also had Queen Bee, but she was out of stock. So we have to wait another time to get her. All right, so here she is. Oh my goodness, she is looking so cute. Here is an up close look at her face. She is not wearing her Miraculous, which I'm kind of surprised by. I thought they would have that little bit of detail. She does have that red ribbon in her hair. And her body seems to have more of a satiny look to it. The previous action figure was much shinier. So she is articulated here in the elbows and the shoulders, the hips, the knees, and also at the ankles. So that is really cool. And of course we need to compare her. So right now, let's see, here is my old ladybug on her stand. And let's just compare. And oh my goodness, do you see this? She's smaller. So she's here standing. Oh my goodness, what a big difference! <laughs> I thought she was kind of small, but compared to the previous figure, she is so much smaller. Oh my gosh, their face is actually really similar. And you know what? I actually like the bigger one better just because it just feels more um, substantial. <laughs> So the previous one is shinier. She has a piece of shiny red plastic and everything else for the most part seemed the same. Here's an up close look at the face. It's very similar. Her seems to be a little bit more narrow down here on the chin. Mm, and her hair seems to be a little bit better designed on this figure. Also on the back, it's not so pointy. Oh my goodness, she is so small. That is a surprise. I thought they would be the same size. So I guess my stand wouldn't work for her this time. Actually, the stand works pretty well because she's <laughs> she fits right in there. She just looks so tiny compared to Cat Noir. So let's go ahead and take a look at her accessories. We have her yo-yo with it all string attached. And here is the wings, the wings we're talking about. So these look like little um, ladybug wings. Look at this. The little clear section folds out just like a real ladybug. And this part is soft and the um, pink and red portions are hard. So that is really neat. I really like that. And let's see how it looks when you put it on her. It just kind of clips onto her. Oh my goodness, this is cute. Oh, so cute. I love this. I love these. I love this clear part that can go up and down. Oops. Oh. Did I break it? Oh. Okay, I'm not really sure what happened here. <laughs> it seemed to have all fallen to pieces. Let's see. I think we can lock it back in. This is not good. I just got this out of the package. 
So this is probably not meant for small kids since it comes apart. Okay, so I think we need to glue this on because it's pretty fragile. It just pops off. Okay, so here's the wing again. <laughs> and here is her yo-yo. Okay, if you shove it in, it works. There you go. Okay. <laughs> and what I noticed about this is like the joints are very, very easy to bend. So as you can see here, her feet are just all over the place. All right, there she is. So unfortunately, even though I do like this figure and the accessories, she does feel pretty fragile. So I'm just afraid that her legs would just break if you're not very careful. And she is just very, very petite. Next, let's take a look at Cat Noir. So Cat Noir here in his box. The back is the same for all the boxes. And let's go ahead and take him out. Here is Cat Noir. Oh my goodness, look at him! <laughs> He's so cute. So here is an up close look at his face. Here's his green eyes, his ears up here, his little bell. And oh no, he's not wearing his miraculous either. Oh look at that. He doesn't have it. And let's see. So everything else looks normal. He's just completely black. There's his belt tail. And let's just compare him with the other cat noir. And oh my gosh, he looks like a kid. <laughs> this is like a kid version, a younger brother version of cat noir. So the other one, he is wearing a miraculous. You can see that on his right hand, but this one is missing it. Oh my goodness, how can I forget that detail? Taking a look at them standing. Yep, he's a whole head shorter. So the articulation is the same. Here's the um, elbows and shoulders at the waist. We can turn at the hips, knees, and down here at the ankles. And his accessories. So we have a stick. This time it's in its elongated form, so it's nice and long. And we also have a pair of wings. So this is something that we saw on Astro Cat, also in that New York episode. So I think this is also worn across the waist. And oh, that's interesting. It goes sideways. So let's go ahead and put it on him. I don't know. It's supposed to look like this. <laughs> it's kind of like a skirt. Okay, so it doesn't turn. This goes this way. So I guess when he's flying, it looks this way. Kind of interesting. I thought it would be flapped out like the ladybug wing, but I guess it's not. So I can fit this in his hand. He can carry it. And that's pretty cool. Okay, so. He's not going to fit on this stand with the wings on. So fortunately, we're going to have to take off his wings. Okay, so my stand actually does work for them. Maybe a little bit better than the other ones because they were so much taller in the previous design. It's just too bad that they didn't come with their miraculouses on. And also they don't have their Kwamis. So here are the two of them. They look really cute together. It's just um, when we stand them next to the previous design, they look like little kids. <laughs> That's too funny. All right, let's move on to our next one. This one is Marinette. Her box is super cute. I just love this pink. Let's get her out of the box. I'm not really sure why I'm so careful with the boxes. <laughs> but for some reason, I just didn't want to rip them out. Okay, so here is Marinette. Take a look at her face. She is wearing a gray jacket with a white shirt underneath with her flower on it. She's wearing pink pants and pink shoes. Here she is compared to the previous version. I do like her hair. However, I like her face a little bit better. I thought the eyes had a little bit more detailed and I like that. Um, her outfit. I think this one, the gray, is more realistic to the show. But again, I think I like the previous design. Oh no. Her accessories include a mirror. 
This one actually, I thought it would rotate, but it doesn't. It just kind of stands upright. We also have Marinette's purse in pink. And finally, we got a Kwame. So we got Tiki here. And what's nice is that Tiki actually comes with a little platform that she's sitting on. That way she won't fall over because her body's so small. And so let's see. Oh my goodness, look, she fits in there perfectly. Oh, how cute. <laughs> I love that. So we can have her wear her bag like this with Tiki coming out of it. That's super cute. And again, just to compare the height difference, we do have Marinette and the older Marinette. And just like the other two dolls, she's pretty well articulated, even here on the ankles. Alright, and finally we have Rina Rouge. Rina Rouge here comes with an orange background. Alright, and finally we have Rina Rouge. Oh my gosh, look at her face. She's so cute. So she has big fox ears and her hair is kind of like foxtails. I really love her hair. Here is her outfit in orange, white, and black boots. And she also has this pretty long foxtail. Let's compare her to her predecessor. So this is the previous Rina Rouge. As you can see, the face has changed quite drastically. In fact, she now has orange eyes instead of green eyes. And I actually don't remember what color eyes she has. And I see another thing that's missing, her Miraculous. Once again, she's missing her Miraculous. So it seems like none of these heroes come with a Miraculous, which is really, really surprising. And this one is also a little bit more matte versus the previous version that is quite shiny. I do like the little designs on her little outfit though. There seems to be a little bit more design up here in the corners, which is really nice. But otherwise, the outfit looks the same. Her hair is also tipped in white. So the previous version didn't have it. And here it is in the back, but the design looks very similar. Actually, the only bit of white is down here on this strand, versus this time, they're on all the strands. And also her tail, it seems like the previous version is much longer, going all the way down to her feet. This one is going only a little bit past her knees, and it's a little bit wider. I like this design a little bit better. So again, standing together, they look like older sister and little sister. And she comes with three accessories. So she comes with her flute. This is her flute here, which is really nice. She comes with a new weapon. I don't think we've seen this before. So maybe this is like a preview to future episodes. I'm not sure if this attaches to anything or if it's just simply a hole. But this looks really cool. It looks like something you can throw. And finally she comes with, look, it's a little cape. So I have not seen her wear this before in any of the episodes that I've watched. So maybe this is just a sneak peek to a future episode. She has little ear holes there. Let's see. Oh my goodness, you guys. She looks so cool with this on. I love it. I love this little cape thing that she has. Unfortunately, her hands are not shaped in a way where she can actually hold on to it. Cat Noir's hands were actually cupped so he could hold on to his, but hers are just kind of straight. So that's kind of unfortunate that um, she actually can't hold on to her weapon. And she can't hold on to this either. So we're going to just have to put this <laughs> and stick it on her somehow. All right, everyone, so here are the four new action figures for Miraculous Ladybug that we unboxed today. One other thing that I noticed is that because these figures are smaller, so they can't actually stand by themselves. They're just very, very top heavy and their feet are too small. With the previous versions, you can actually get them to stand on their own, but these are just impossible. Um, they're just way too heavy on the top. But overall, I do like all the accessories that they came with, and they still look really cute. So I am looking forward to collecting the rest of the characters that they have for this series. And just for fun, we'll just put them next to the previous group. I think they do very much look like siblings. So let me know down below in the comment section your thoughts on this set of Miraculous Ladybug action figures. 
And if you like this video, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.